Yo, what's up guys? So we literally just showed up to Orlando. There's a hurricane a coming and today we're just gonna go ahead and do my top five things to do at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter right from the night bus. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so top five thing to do right now is ride Green Gods. Right now is at a 25 minute wait. Since we have the Express Pass, we're gonna get over there in probably like five minutes. So let's go ahead and get to it. for right now is go ahead and take a picture with the night bus and it's right out outside of Diagon Abbey. Jonathan. Jonathan, good to meet you Jonathan. And you are? Emily. Emily is it? Emily! It's a pleasure Emily. <laughs> Miami. They're from their army. Yeah, army? Is it your army? Fancy that. I don't, I don't have one. You don't know any? Yeah, I don't know how to get those. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. Is it nice there? Yes, yeah, it's very nice. Really hot. London, you like it here? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to run away from the hurricane, so we came over here. Oh, I see. Excellent. So what are you going to do here then? You're going to Diagon Alley? Or what? Yes, Diagon Alley. Get our school supplies. Fantastic. Have we had butter meals? Uh, not yet, not yet. We not just yet. showed up today. <laughs> right. Wait, you just showed up? You got to get the butter beer. That's the first thing you grab. Wait, so have you been in there yet? Yes, I got a oh, green, a fishy green ale. Oh, fishy what? Green. You got a fishy green ale and no butter beer? No, no, no. <laughs> what did you think of the fishy green ale? Oh, I didn't like that one. Yeah. Right? It's, uh, it's different, right? Isn't there something fishy about it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try the butter beer when you get the chance. It's so good. Frozen butter beer. Frozen butter beer. Frozen butter beer. Frozen butter beer. All right, Emily, so what's number three? Oh man, you did not know number three. She's a rookie here, guys. We gotta go to, you have to go, top three, you definitely have to go check out every store. It's packed with stores, and we're gonna be here to get our school supplies tomorrow for the back to school Hogwarts, duh, this is September 1st. All right, so this is the Quidditch Sports. They get your Quidditch supplies here. Sanchez Quidditch World Cup. Ooh. Okay, all the trinkets. Oh, tomorrow, Emily has to go get an extra school supply. She has to go get a lanyard from her house. Cause I finally chose my house. Oh, load it, load it. You think you can fit in this? This is probably the most colorful one. Oh, look. Check this out. The, the Death Eater. Sorry. Oh, dude. This is definitely the most colorful one of them all. Dude. Oh, look, a love potion should induce you with, induce you with some love potion. Hello. Oh, look, already, already in the love charm. All right, this is definitely the darkest one of them all. Borkin and Berks, also known as the darkest place in the market. What is that? It's a bowl for your cereal. Oh, we can eat some soup in there. Is how much time you have to buy the food. Well, there's one thing you gotta check out in Borgen and Burks is this right here. Clocks. This is so cool. All right, a lot of people don't know this, but you can hear the bird from inside. You got a Death Eater's mask. Oh, the Tom Riddle diary. The necklace. A Salazar Slytherin. 125, you could get uh, Lucius Malfoy's cane, but it has the wand on the, on the top. They have the, the ring. Bellatrix, Bellatrix's um, knife that stabbed Dobby. Says, Do not touch cursed, has claimed the lives of 19 muggles. Uh, and it's... That's the necklace that uh, the... That what? Tri trivial question, come on, tell me, tell me. What Chinese girl? Cho Chang? So the second one is definitely to go ahead and go to Ollivander to get your own wand. 
They have interactive ones, they have the elder one, the most powerful one in the wizarding world, and they have plenty more. So you could even go ahead and actually get ones based off your birthday and what house you're from, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and get Emily a new wand right now. All right, a must in the wizarding world of Harry Potter is Ollivanders. You get all your wands. This is the original one in Diagon Alley. You get all your wands here because the wand chooses the wizard and they definitely have a variety, let me tell you. This is a wand that's very suitable for Hufflepuffs. It's a wand of Ashwood. This wand is for witches and wizards who are kind-hearted, generous, and loyal. They are witches and wizards who always see the beauty in all things and they attract different energies. So that's a wand I think of first and foremost when I think of a Hufflepuff. Yeah, I really like it because it's yeah. plain and it has little you designs. Know, like and you liked you liked um Hermione's, so it's kinda like the same thing. Yeah, except it's your very own one. She she hit you on the with the first one. <laughs> yeah, no, we offered your very own one. That's part of the series. Oh, uh, there's 13 different designs for the Ollivander originals, and they all mean different things. So all these ones go by meaning as opposed to character. They're spread out across 13 different wood types when they come to the calendars. We actually have their own display up on that back with the plaques and colors when you want to display. So you can kind of read through the personality, see when you're people, so I can match you by your birthday as well. Since you said Hufflepuff, I thought of this one first. Yeah. It's your birthday. My birthday is June. Which day? Seven. Funny enough. Is a wand of oak wood. <laughs> oak stands for sophistication and wisdom. These witches and wizards are confident, optimistic decision makers. They always look on the bright side. This one's very cool. I like that yeah. one better though. But it's really nice and silky. And number one thing to do every time I come here is take pictures everywhere I go. I love all the aesthetics, all the things to take, all the places to take pictures of. Sadly, I can't show you guys all the places I take pictures, but you're definitely gonna find one if you show up here. There's a lot of picture worthy spots around here. Yeah, there's definitely a picture worthy spot every corner you pass by. Um, I just can't show you because it's pitch black right now, so sadly to say, I can't do that. And the dragon said it best. Let's wrap up this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you guys are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I post daily content about Harry Potter on a daily basis. And without further ado, let's go ahead and operate out of here.